Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on Gauss Divergence Theorem Part 3. In session 1, we have verified Gauss Divergence Theorem for a cube. In session 2, we have verified Gauss Divergence Theorem for a rectangular parallelo pipe. In this session, we are going to verify Gauss Divergence Theorem over a cube, but the limits are going to be from plus or minus 1, a different problem. Let us go into the problem. Verify Gauss Divergence Theorem for a given f vector over the cube formed by the planes. As usual, let us take f vector as step 1. Then visualize the cube and we can easily write the limits are x equal to minus 1 to 1, y equal to minus 1 to 1 and z equal to minus 1 to 1. Next step 3, we are going to write the Gauss divergence formula. Double integral over s f vector dot n cap ds is equal to triple integral over v del dot f vector dv where s is the closed surface. Now we are going to solve RHS first and then we will go for LHS. To find RHS, we need the divergence del dot f vector. Let us compute this. We have f vector, then del dot f vector is going to be dou by dou x of x square plus dou by dou y of z plus dou by dou z of y z. Differentiating this partially with respect to x, y and z, we will be getting 2x. Second term, there is no y, it is going to be 0. Third term, we have y. Therefore, my del dot f vector is going to be 2x plus y. Now, we are going to take the RHS. Let us compute the RHS. Triple integral over v del dot f vector dv. dv we always take dz dy dx for my convenience. Even you can change the order because all the limits are constant. So, our limits are going to be varying from minus 1 to 1. We know del dot f is 2x plus y. Substituting all these things, we will be getting this. Now, integrating 2x plus y, first with respect to z, we will be getting 2x plus y into z, the limits from minus 1 to 1 dy dx. Now, substituting the upper and lower limit, we will be getting 1 minus of minus 1. It is going to be 2. Therefore, 2 into 2x plus y dy dx. Now, multiply this 2 inside, we will be getting 4x plus 2y dy dx. Integrating this, we get 4xy because we are integrating with respect to y and 2y integration is 2 into y square by 2. I can cancel this 2. Rewriting this, we will be getting 4xy plus y square, the limits from minus 1 to 1. Substitute the upper and lower limit, we will be getting 4x into 1 plus 1 square. For the lower limit, 4x minus 1 plus minus 1 whole square. So, 4x plus 1 minus of minus plus 4x minus 1. So, minus 1 plus 1 get cancelled, we get 8x. When I integrate 8x with respect to x, we will be getting 8x square by 2, 4 times x square minus 1 to 1. When you apply the limit, 1 minus 1, because 1 square minus of minus 1 whole square is going to be 1 minus 1, it is going to be 0. Therefore, my RHS is equal to 0. Next, we have to find the LHS. LHS is the double integral over S f vector dot n cap ds, where S is the closed surface. So, we have 6 surfaces in the cube. Front and back, this is x equal to 1 and this is going to be x equal to minus 1. And right and left, we have y equal to 1 and y equal to minus 1. Similarly, we have z equal to 1 and z equal to minus 1. Now, we have to evaluate all the 6 surfaces. For this, the easiest way is generating the table and write all the informations which is needed. Now, we take 7 cross 7 rows and columns. We have 6 surfaces S1, S2, S3, S4, S5, S6 and then the faces are going to be front, back, right, left, top, bottom and front and back as concerning with X, right, left concerned with Y and top, bottom, Z. So, we can allot the upper and lower limits. So, it is going to be very easy. We just saw in the figure. Next, n cap. n cap is the unit outward normal vector. So, for front, it is going to be 
i vector for back it moves in the opposite direction minus i vector similarly for right it is j vector for left it is going to be minus j for top it is k and bottom it is minus k simply i i j j k k plus minus plus minus plus minus done next we have our f vector here and n cap here f vector dot n cap is going to be x square minus x square z minus z y z minus y z next we have to substitute the values of the equations in f vector dot n cap if any here x equal to 1 we have x square here substituting this will be getting 1 for s2 we have minus 1 similarly for s3 we have z but there is no y i have to write z as it is and for left we have minus z then for the surface 5 we have y z here we have z equal to 1 so when i substitute this i will be getting y and for s6 we have minus y z and z value is minus 1 so we will be getting minus y into minus 1 that is my plus y and now for the surface s1 s2 it is going to be dy dz because we are using the equation here and for surface s3 s4 we are using y we will be getting dx dz and surface s5 s6 the top and bottom we are going to write the limits x and y so the table is done now instead of evaluating all the six integrals club this s1 s2 front and back right left and top bottom get the quicker results now see here the other good thing the value of s1 is 1 and s2 is minus 1 when you start adding this 2, we will be getting 1 minus 1. Immediately, I can write this as 0. Next, we have to go for the surface S3 and S4. S3 as Z and S4 as minus Z. So, now this is also going to be very easy. If I add both, my plus Z and minus Z get cancelled. We will get the answer 0. So, 4 surfaces are done, students. Now, we have finally S5 and S6. S5 is Y. S6 also Y. Now, the limits are going to be from minus 1 to 1. We are going to add Y. I am going to write dy dx because f vector dot n cap contains Y plus Y. So, it is going to be minus 1 to 1, minus 1 to 1, 2Y dy dx. Integrating 2y with respect to dy will be getting y square by 2 i'll cancel this 2 integral minus 1 to 1 substituting the upper limit 1 square minus substituting the lower limit minus 1 whole square dx so it is going to be 1 minus 1 integral minus 1 to 1 dx so the answer is 0 therefore for s1 plus s2 we get 0 s3 plus s4 we get 0 and finally s5 plus s6 also we get the answer 0 therefore my rhs is 0 and my lhs is 0 hence gauss divergence theorem is verified hope you understand students next quick recap for a given problem Step 1, write the f vector and then step 2, we have to get the limits. Step 3, we have to write Gauss divergence theorem. First, we are going to evaluate RHS. For this, we need divergence del dot f. Find del dot f that is 2x plus y. Now, we have to evaluate RHS. The limits are given in step 2. Integrating this, we get RHS is 0. Next, we have to go for LHS. It is a closed surface of cube which has 6 surfaces. Front, back, right, left, top, bottom. Now, we have to make the table. From the table, we are going to club S1, S2, S3, S4, S5, S6. For easy computation, we get the answer 0 for both. Double integral over S1 plus double integral S2 and double integral S3 plus double integral S4. And finally, we have to calculate for S5 and S6 from the table and we achieve that is also 0. Therefore, adding all the values, we get our LHS 0. From this, my RHS and LHS are 0. Hence, Gauss divergence theorem is verified. Hope you understand, students. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.